Okay, so we're gonna do a little video introduction to how do you post on a discussion board. First time doing this, we'll see if it works. So you're gonna go to your Blackboard for mom. Mom is the MEA 1303 class, Medical Office Management, which you'll see right here. And you're going to click where it says, over here on the left, where it says discussion. You'll click on that. You'll come over here and you'll see there's actually even more than one, but we're only gonna worry about this first one today. This is one that says week two, discussion, mandatory participation, and it has the date yesterday. So you're actually going to come in here and click on that, the name of the new discussion. So you just click on that, and you're gonna to come to this page where you will see what I've already posted in there. So if you come into this page, you're gonna see that it says, read this from your instructor. So we'll go ahead and click on that because we should always do what your instructor says. And you'll see that it's just a, um, a, it's really just an example of showing how you will make a post. So for example, the instructions, which are back on the original page, the instructions tell you that you've got three topics to pick from. You'll only pick one and you're going to post your response to that particular topic, whatever it is. You are also going to be required to post a reply to two of your classmates. So all six of you will be putting a reply on here or will be posting an answer to the uh, original question. And then you will go back and select two of your classmates that you're going to reply. I'm gonna to try to show you how to do both. Um, let's say that, um, let's first look at what the example is. So the example I've chosen is to discuss the importance of proper grammar, punctuation, spelling, documentation as medical assistants, and it goes on. And so the answer that I am giving um, is, it's extremely important that medical assistants understand the importance of what they record and so on and so forth. It needs to be at least 50 words. Um, and these are my own words. Uh, there will be some of these discussion boards where I make you tell me where you got the information, but this first one is really one that you can create without looking at anything else. So let's go back and, and talk about how you're going to post. So you've, you've clicked on the, um, on the conversation that you wanna talk about, and it has taken you to this page, and now you want to put what your answer. Let's say that you've chosen that same question, which was post number one. So you go here to where it says, thread actions. I'm sorry, you go here where it says, hmm, create a thread, and then you will put your answer here. We'll just call it test one, and then we'll put down here, test response to post one. But that would really be where you put your whole answer. And then we're gonna go down here to the bottom of the page, we're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna click where it says, I'll get better at this videoing, I promise. Click where it says submit. Now we're going to see, when we come back to the page, which it automatically sends you back to, we're going to see your new a response that you put on there that says one test. We know that's your thread. Now let's say that you decide, oh, I really like what so-and-so said, I'm gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna to reply to their thread. So you click back on the other person's post, which is gonna be right here. And then if I wanna to reply to it, 
I just click where it says reply and I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to say this is a sample reply and then I'll scroll down to the bottom of the page over here on the right and I will click submit. Now when we go back to the original thread, we should be able, let's see what it looks like when we go back, should be able to see all of that. So you can see that you have posted, and we'll say that this was you, this is the one we just did together, you've posted, that's your one original post that you're required to do. But you can also see by looking over here that two people have replied to this post. And that is where, when all of your classmates have posted on here, you'll be able to see that that number changes once you have replied on it. I know it might be confusing, but I think once you start doing it, you're going to find that it is not that hard. Uh, we will have a discussion board each week for the next three weeks. Well, actually for the next two weeks. So this is the discussion board for um, one, for, uh, for week two, and then there'll be another one for week three, and then a final one in week four. You will be required to post your response to one of the three choices, and you'll be required to post two of your classmates' replies to their post. So it will show up and it will say, ready for grading or waiting for grading, once you have done all three. And that's how you'll know that you've done what you were supposed to do. It will be for a grade. If you have not followed the directions, if you have not given a unique, at least 50 word um, reply, then you will not get full credit for this. And this is going in that 30% of your grade that is that was the workbook grade. Let me know if you guys have questions.